everyone, this is Evan from First Updates Now. Oh, I'm here with Team 7763, Carboro Robotics. Overall, they have had a great season, being one of the best teams so far in NC. They have a dead simple robot, but it is super effective. We'll be taking a look at their strategy, their design, how their note flows through the robot, and then their unique auto and note targeting system through their limelight. All this coming right up on Behind the Bumpers. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So I'll pass it over to Michael to talk a little bit more about the strategy and design that went into this. Absolutely. This year we wanted to focus on a dead simple design, um, so we decided to go with a fixed angle shooter uh, to eliminate possible issues um, with uh, things breaking during matches, as well as an under the bumper intake. Um, when I was uh, in 2022, uh, when we had outside of the bumper intakes, they often broke. Um, and so one of the things this year, I wanted to make sure that things would all stay in the robot. Um, it helps prevent penalties, it helps prevent a lot of issues happening. Um, and it's really just much better um, for less things to break. Um, yeah. yeah. So if you can talk a little bit more about how, like how basically how did you go with some of your stuff with fixed angle, deciding on that angle, stuff like that. Absolutely. So we designed the robot in CAD. Um, and so with that, we were able to figure out what angle would be uh, best for this. Um, we, we focused on speaker first. Uh, we decided that that would be the most important since we had a week one event um, and we decided to add amp later which we did with this amp bar which we'll talk about in a second um, and so through CAD we were able to figure out the angle um, and that works perfect for this speaker we have had no issues with that just driving all the way up to the subwoofer um, hitting it in and we're good to go. Awesome if you want to pass over to Aiden to talk a little bit more about how the note flows through and how everything works. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So as Michael stated, uh, we're running in under the bumper intake. Uh, we use a handful of different rollers through here, all powered by this one Neo on a 5 to 1 gear ratio. So starting, we have this initial roller uh, that goes over the top of the note. And so that'll pull it in at the start. And then this second roller right here will catch the bottom of it. And that angles it up towards this polycarbonate piece. And then these two rollers continue to turn to bring it up this polycarb. As you can see over here, uh, we use a sensor so that we know when the note gets uh, exactly to this point. And we use that to pause our intake. And after we pause the intake so that the note stays right there, the shooter wheels turn on so they're spooled up and we're ready to make a shot as soon as we hit a button. Uh, along with that uh, sensor, we have another one right over here. And that allows us to know exactly when the note is shooting out of the robot because we have noticed sometimes if the note is loaded in differently, then it might take a second longer to get out of these wheels. So this sensor right here allows us to time some of those things better, such as in autos, we can run our shoot commands much quicker because we don't need to run these for longer to make sure the note gets out. And we can also time our amp bar really, really well. Uh, the amp bar over here, uh, it's just consisted of two Neo 550s on the back. They're connected through their outrunners to make sure they rotate the same speed, and they're on a 60 to 1 gear reduction, and that turns this entire arm uh, all the way up, and it'll end up slapping the note, so we like to call it the slamper. Uh, I can demonstrate this right now. So as you can see, the note paused right down there in our intake, and our shooter wheels are spooled. If we want to run amp, I just click one button, and the amp bar will deploy. And then feed the note back in. And similar thing for speaker. We intake it right in. The wheels are spooled at the speed. And then shoot it right up. Awesome. I haven't, this is definitely a really unique way of scoring in the amp. One thing I'm wondering is your robot seems a lot more open than other teams. So how are you basically keeping the note secure while cycling? Yeah, definitely. So we actually realized earlier in the season, um, our design initially of having no plate here and just running these wheels, although most of our shots would make it, we would miss about 5 to 10% of them. And after that screwing us over in a playoffs match, we decided that we were going to CNC out this plate that goes across. Uh, along with keeping the notes in right here, it also keeps uh, these four shooter wheels super stable, so they're much quieter than they used to be, a lot less wear on everything. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's really it, because uh, the rollers right down here, they hold in the note great, and it just sits right there. We haven't had a single note fall out of the robot or anything along those lines. 
Awesome. If you want to pass over to end to talk a little bit more about the auto and limelight stuff you have doing. Of course. Hi. So we initially started with this three limelight, limelight three over here running through the school coral. It auto detects our nodes. Um, it works perfect for both teleop and autonomous. So we don't necessarily have to rotate the robot to it. If it simply is in its line of vision, it will take it on its own. And I can show it to you guys right over here. So by putting it by a certain it can be from the side, it can be from the angle. As long as it's in the area of vision, it will go for it and it will rotate on itself. And all we have to do is set that crosshair, that confidence rate, and that rotation acceleration, and that sets it perfectly over there. It also helps us a lot with our autos. As we can see from our paths, it's a pretty simple path. And even if it deviates, it works together with Path Planner to auto-generate a path that will go back to the speaker and it will reach those notes. So sometimes in the field, it won't look like this, but it'll rotate either one side or through the other and it'll still take it because the limelight will take it on its own. Uh, awesome. Another addition that we had recently was this Limelight 3G. Uh, it does our April tag detection. It works really well for autonomous, for um, speaker align. Uh, similar to the auto-generated path, it simply has an area set to where it sees the speaker and it just goes for it and all the nodes in and it works great. Awesome, thank you. Uh, and one quick question for Limelight and stuff like that. How did you guys kind of come up with that versus using more of a fixed path initially? Yeah, of course. I believe we had it in the last season. We had a Limelight that uh, through off season that we tried using it. it. It was kind of broken, so we got a new one after that. We've had great reviews from other people. Our mentor was a great help on kind of giving us confidence and working with this Limelight. Aiden over here it was amazing with researching and doing our Limelights as well. We all worked as a group to like kind of figure out how the way to do it, especially why we didn't do April tag at the beginning because our node detection was enough. And this is just kind of an extra security to get those auto nodes confidently in every single time. So it's kind of more like a research. We were just researching what would work best for this robot and that was the right answer. Awesome, thank you. So this is Team 7763 Carbo Robotics. They've had a great year this so far. They're ranked currently around 20 in their division and they're looking to have a great run at World Championships here. Thank you guys, and I wish you the best of luck during this year's game. Thank you. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support.